Hello and welcome to another MI How To video. My name is Tom Clark. I am your host, and on today's How To, we're going to show you how to install an NTN solid housed SPAW bearing. And helping us out is first time guest on the show, Corey Didoff. Corey, welcome. How are you, man? Pretty good, Tom. Nice to meet you. It is nice to meet you. Good to have you. And as always, first time guests get to go to the gift shop in the lobby, pick out anything you want. Your account? Yeah, my account. <laughs> so. Why does it always work out that way? I don't know. But no, welcome. Um, what do we got going on here today? Well, what man? we have here is the NTN SPAW solid housed unit. This okay. is designed as a drop in replacement for the split block SAF. Okay. The big difference being that instead of an open spherical roller bearing, we have a factory greased and sealed bearing. Uh, the big thing this gives us is a 60% reduction in assembly time. But you're not like pulling my legs. No, I'm 60%. not pulling 60%. 60%. That's a lot. That's a lot. That is a lot of We're time. We're saving people a lot of money. A lot of money. We'll pay for that. Pay for that gift in no gift. time. <laughs> okay, well, let's put this together so they have an idea of what's going on. But before we do that, we got to put on our PPE. PPE. Yep. Always important. Safety is priority number one. All right, let's go. Okay, before we install any new bearing on a shaft, we want to take that shaft and make sure there's no damage, burrs, nicks, and that we're good to go. And this is looking pretty good, so I think we're good. There's no nicks here, and nope. there's no nicks in New York either because they nope. had a terrible, terrible season. Terrible season, terrible <laughs> season. So we're good to go. So what okay. we want to do. We'll take the sleeve, just like the standard unit, slide that onto the shaft okay. with the threads facing the outboard side, Gotcha. get it lined up. Then we'll want to take our housed unit with the bearing in it, just slide her right on from the side, get her kind of lined up with the bolts. If you can help That's me good. here, Tom, yeah, we'll sure. just want to go okay. tighten down the bolts hand tight. Just hand tight, we don't have to worry yeah, about no, it we'll, we'll finish off that right at the end. Okay. Um, right. Position the bearing, we'll want to take our washer, Put it on in there, take our nut, and we'll want to take this to hand tight. Just hand tight at first. Now, why only hand tight? Uh, we want to make sure everything's positioned in the okay. unit. And then we can tighten it up a little bit later. And we can later. tighten it up a little bit later. So, now, ready. this is going on pretty easy yeah. right now. It should so. go on this easy. Okay. If you're having troubles, there's something wrong, you need to back off and take a look and see what's, what's wrong. Gotcha. So, we'll want to back off a little, and then we want to take a wedge or a screwdriver and make sure we pull that sleeve all the way into the bearing so it's nice and tight. And we want to make that, that flush too, that correct? Flush too. Okay. Yeah, so we want to make sure, and when you're doing this, do not damage the seal. All right. So bring that in okay. nice and tight. Yeah, I could see that. Take it back to hand tight. And then to make sure we're actually gripping this shaft nicely, we want to take the drift, just give it a slight tap and see if it moves anything. And it didn't move, so we're, we're nice and so gripped on it. So then we're okay. Now well, okay. if it does move, then what do we do? We, we, we need to tighten, tighten more. Just a little bit more. Position yourself and tighten more and make sure you're gripping that shaft okay, really so nicely. Okay, so position, tighten, we make sure it's flush, tight, yep. we're good to go. Yep. Okay, good to go. what's next? Because it's sealed, we can't fit a feeler gauge or anything in there, so right. we have to go with the rotation method, which is, in this case, 120 degrees nut rotation. Okay. So you'd want to take a grease pencil, a Sharpie, mark the noon position, the 12 o'clock position. Gotcha. Take your spanner wrench, and rotate 120 degrees, or we'll, I like to say take it from noon to four. Let's here, go. From one noon to, to five. Four, go. I got 2.30. I got 30. That looks and like about four o'clock. Looks like it's pretty tight and ready to go. Yep. So after you've rotated 120 degrees, you want to go and take this tab here and force it into the slot to lock everything in place. Finish off your bolts, right. and you're done. So we're all set. We're all set. That's it. That's it. That was pretty easy. It's pretty easy. Corey, thank you so much. That's thank some you, good Tom. information. We appreciate it. Corey Didoff, he is with NTN. If you have any questions about anything you saw here today, you can pick up the phone, call the nearest Motion Industries location, and I promise you, they will help you out. You saw we had on our PPE today. It's always important. Safety is priority number one. Priority number two is to go to mihowto.com, and there you can see a whole bunch of other videos like this about different assemblies and uh, there's also some Tom's toolboxes there as well. Uh, thanks for watching today.